Network protocols. Now, when we go into the exam, we, of course, need to know uh, NAT and PAT. So basically, when it comes to network address translation, for example, and uh, port translation, we need to know what they are, why they're important, uh, and how they compare uh, as well to other protocols. So NAT is basically going to be uh, what is uh, referred to uh, typically as a way that we could take a pool of public addresses and map them to a private one. Now, why do we want to do that? Well, again, it really comes down to making sure that our cloud resources, for example, let's say we're using EC2 or Compute Engine, we don't want to have exposed to the internet the IP range of our EC2 instances, for example. So what we do is basically um, use basically, you know, fake IPs, basically, as a way to ensure that uh, we're not exposing our resources from the cloud. And this is true on-prem as well. Now, port address translation is going to use a single outside address and map it to multiple addresses. Uh, so this is really meant for dealing with different ports. When it comes to a NAT, for example, we want to just consider it basically as a way to take a request from a specific IP address and redirect it to a specific host. So what are we using? Are we using NAT? Are we using PAT? Are we using a Bastion host? Again, it's all about uh, understanding how we could use protocols like that to protect our resources. Now, port forwarding is also known as port mapping, and it depends on the network vendor as well. But basically, this is a technique that we're going to go through a gateway and generally take that traffic that's going to a specific port and forward it based on the external source. And then, for example, like an AWS, AWS, of course, supports NAT. And we could use a VPC. Uh, we could use a NAT gateway, which uh, in AWS is a managed service. We would create a security group to, um, to help mitigate issues with the pool of addresses. But basically, um, pretty much all the vendors support NAT. It's just the question of um, how it's going to be set up. Now, when it comes to other terms we might want to know, one is called VLAN tagging. This is a practice that we take a VLAN ID uh, and basically try to identify what packet it actually belongs to. And then for the test, we want to know the difference between NAT and PAT. And then also just try to remember NAT is for addresses and then PAT is for port translation. Fairly simple to remember the N and the P, right? Or the A and the P, however you want to remember it. But go into the exam, try not to confuse these. These could be give me questions if you uh, get questions on these protocols.